Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to White Crow Tarot. Here's a look at your energy over the next 48 hours or whenever spirit applies. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Sagittarius. Everything you need to know is down below in the description. Guys, please do me a favor. If you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to leave your good likes on the videos. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. Thank you to those of you who do it all the time without me even having to ask you. I do appreciate you. Thank you guys for your beautiful energy on the channel. I see you. Sagittarius, sending you guys so much love and abundance. Wishing you a happy new year. All right. Guide spirits, benevolent beings. Let's paint a clear and accurate story, please, for Sagittarius. Help Sagittarius know what they need to know for the highest good in the new year. What time frame should Sagittarius be made aware of at this time? Your time frame, Sagittarius season. How very interesting. Okay. Sagittarius. All right. Find a new meaning. Find a new meaning. Nine weeks to nine months. Nine weeks to nine months. Something. I feel like you're starting now. I've been really drawn to the numbers. Um, ones and threes and sevens. Maybe you're seeing those numbers or synchronicity patterns of those numbers. I've been seeing them myself all over the place. Regardless, um... The number nine could be significant to you as well. We also have Capricorn. Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. So Capricorn season could be very significant to you as well, which we are in the energy of Capricorn. So maybe you're planting a new seed now. Find a new meaning. You are finding a new meaning to something. Perceiving success in Capricorn season. Ten weeks to ten months. So whatever this is, Sagittarius, feels a little long and drawn out, but I think you're okay with that. I think I feel like you're okay with that. Something creative, too, that you're doing. All right. Yeah, you're waiting. Expectation. Expectation on the bottom of the Kipper deck. We're going to wait. Wait it out. Waiting it out. Waiting for the change. Now, I know... In your 2022 prediction, we are talking about a lot of physical changes that you're undergoing this year in every way. Physical transformation in every way that we can think of. What's coming towards Sagittarius over the next 48 hours or by the new year? What's coming toward? Oh, hello. Everybody's pulling that sudden wealth card. Okay. Judication, kind of like my mini justice card, the justice card of the, of the Kipper. Three, thirty could be significant to you. Something going your way, something going your way, Sagittarius. The end of toil and labor, or more of it, where you should be focusing your energy right now, Sagittarius. I feel like you're not going to be toiling and laboring over tedious jobs anymore, Sagittarius. Will you need to work hard to acquire the things you want in life? Yes. But I feel like it's going to be working on stuff that you are personally satisfied and care and you care about, not, not working for others in that sense. Main male under the bottom of the deck could be talking definitely to a masculine. Um, I feel like you're making the rules about how you choose or want to go about doing what you're doing. I don't feel like you're appreciated as well as you could be in your current job. It feels like that. You want some form of justice here. Where should, should Sagittarius not focus? Mature woman. There could be a woman around you. You could be this woman where you should not focus. Pat. 
pathway under that. So it's about finding your divine life path. What it feels to me too, being that these are mature energies, I could either be speaking with the, I would say, 40s and up, or this is you coming into your maturity. You are maturing through something, through something yourself. In the new year, strength to justice underneath that, like again, needing strength, but also the strength here could be speaking about physical activity. Um, signing some of you getting new gym memberships that kind of thing sure making those resolutions a lot of people are in that resolution energy um i want to tell you though because we're getting ready to walk right into a mercury retrograde at the start of the year <laughs> thank you spirit uh <laughs> yeah you were lifting weights here with that ten of wands okay so some of you are flat out getting like new gym memberships things like that you're getting strict and you are you know the only toil the toiling and labor you're going to be doing is is one that is self-perpetuated it's of the self it's what you want to do and i don't blame you so in other words yeah eight of wands it's the obstacle that you set for yourself the goal that you have set for yourself that you want to reach like you're reaching for it come the new year it's a resolution resolution we are making shit happen. We're going for it. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's hidden from us right now with the moon or the unknown. Will we, will we, will we reach our goal, right? It's unknown for us right now. It's an unknown. Let me know if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. <laughs> Regardless, um, the future is unknown. The weight is unknown. The obstacle is a little unknown. We might be a little afraid of that. Jumping back in with our feet in the water. We want to really... <sighs> it's under our moon energy because we don't know the future. None of us do. Not really. Yeah. Some of you don't want to waste money on that or you feel like don't feel like your health your health isn't a waste of money guys please know that for those of you who need to hear that message like your health is not a waste of money but you're you're worried you're thinking you need to save money like toil and labor no nah, maybe i should put it off maybe i should put it off don't get that gym membership don't waste that money on that i could just feel stagnant like if I don't if I don't stick to my goal then what well guys for any of you especially if I'm speaking to like my entrepreneurs you know for a fact that if you don't charge your client or make your client pay for your services in advance they won't do it so I need you to treat yourself kind of like you would treat one of your clients and force yourself to pay in advance <laughs> okay like and do it before the retrograde like if you're gonna make that commitment if you're gonna buy that gym membership do it now Okay, and make the commitment because you're not going to do it come, come Jane. Like, what's the hold up? If not now, when? You know what I mean? If not now, when, Sage? First off, whoever needs to hear that message. So, yeah, okay, Ten of Wands. Cycle, or Ten Cycle, completing here. But this is also the image we want, putting a death to the old image of ourselves and putting on this new face this new face that we want to see in the mirror like he's this a skeleton holding up a mirror to herself here right <laughs> out with the old in with the new we're holding up a mirror so 10 weeks from now 10 months from now we don't expect to see the same person staring back at us in the mirror and those of you who are making those commitments it's funny how you kind of get a repeating message for, for, and for the Sagittarius that I'm talking to, I really feel like personal image is is heavy, heavy for many of you for the coming year, and wherever maybe you even have Sagittarius in your chart, um, like we want our bodies back. Like, can I have my body back, please? 
someone is saying. Justice. All right. Someone has some Libra in their chart, yeah? Okay, justice. I want my body back. I want there to be fair, equal, and balanced. I want I want my little red dress. I want my white dress. I want to be that pure dress, but also I want to go on the town and party like I used to. I want to look good while doing it. And you will. But we're going to make those resolutions now to stick to that goal, right? Mature woman. We're going to boss up. We got this pathway. Some of you are going to be spending a lot more time out in nature too, going on walks and things like that. And I think that's going to be great for you. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Not entirely sure how she wanted to come out, but this definitely could be that mature woman with the Queen of Pentacles. You let me know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that we saw at the beginning of the reading, right? Maybe you have some Capricorn in your chart. That could be your mother. What about your mother, Sagittarius? What's going on here? You could be this mother. Maybe you are mothers. Maybe you're new mothers. That would explain the the um, fascination, or I should say the obsession with self-image because we want to gain our figures back. Yeah, the lovers. Okay. That's not, that's not for everybody, that's for some. Also, there's a significant love connection coming in between you and a king of swords. So this could be you stepping into the energy of the queen of pentacles or the king of swords. Regardless, someone is here. There's a love connection coming in here. Mm -hmm. We're becoming a master too. We mastered something of our own minds in this sense. Could be with a Gemini, you let me know. Or Taurus, Hierophant. Interesting. We do have a Queen of Pentacles sitting right there. All right. Advice, please, for Sagittarius. Show me clearly. Tower! Sudden change. Oh, you're going to shock everybody. I keep telling you this. Like, some of you, when you reappear with your new body, or your new physique, or your new money, or your new car, or whatever the heck it is, it's really about physical appearance, though, for most of you, I feel the need to say. When you shock, you're going to be shocking the hell out of everybody with that new relationship you just entered, too. Oh, yeah. People didn't see that coming, did they? No. They thought you were going to wallow and suffer in pain. Uh -uh. Nope. Negative. No, no. I don't think so. Sag says, I don't think so. You thought what? What? You thought I was supposed to what? Hmm? Suffer like I couldn't get my mind right, like I couldn't think for myself, like I couldn't move on my own? Bullshit. Justice, bitch. <laughs> yep. We don't play that. Oh yeah. Color, color, color. Oh, God! Express your true feelings, Sagittarius. Don't hide. Don't hide. Don't hide the way you feel. Don't do it. Express how you really feel. And this green, green color of the rainbow, right? Oh, yeah. Don't be afraid. Color. Some of you could be dreaming in like really vivid colors. It's also about needing to open the heart, energy of the heart, where you connect with that feeling of how you, how you show up in the world and feel good about yourself. And also some of you need to express your true feelings to wherever this lover is over here. Mm -hmm. I see that coming in for you at the beginning of the year. Contracts, things of that nature that you're taking action on, things that were hidden from you, the obstacle is moving past it, you'll be signing a new contract for sure. Sagittarius, leaving your reading right there. I hope this served you. I hope this resonates with you. Do let me know. Leave a like on the video. Support your girl. And I will see you soon. And, uh, well, very soon for general love readings next week. Take care, Sage. Be good.